Welcome to Makeaway Takeaway! Excuse the ears, I'm on a mission. While I finish wrapping these presents for Santa, here's today's menu. Coming up on today's show, a technique that's full of festive fun. A customer gives me a jingle bell to help with a sticky situation. And we get our skates on to deliver a surprise to an awesome ice skating coach. I want to get on Santa's nice list, so I'm helping him out with a few jobs. Hence all the wrapping. I'm reusing this from last year. And this string. This gives me an idea for a takeaway technique! <laughs> Using string, I'm going to show you how to create a magical winter wonderland. Because it's snowy, I'm using a dark background so it stands out. Take a piece of string and dip it into some runny paint. Hold it tight and drag it across the paper. Go back and forth a few times. Keep doing this to create a row of trees. There's your forest. Let's add some branches. I'm going to put the branches on these brighter trees because they're in the foreground. This forest needs a reindeer. Got this scrap piece of brown paper, but you could also use recycled cardboard or an old envelope. I'm only going to draw half a reindeer. You'll see why later. Let's give this reindeer some outlaws. And there is our reindeer. I'll add some details with white pen. Right, cut it out. I've cut out the reindeer and the background is dry. I love how the string has made this look like a row of silver birch trees. Time to create some snow. Just pop some PVA onto the foreground. And remember it's snowing. So it'll be coming down. So I'm putting some glue on the tops of these branches as well. Do you have any forests near you? Or maybe parks? What are they like in winter? There we go. Time to add the snow. I'm going to do it over a tray. You could do it over some old newspaper. Pouring the glitter over the picture. You ready? Shake it off. And all this leftover glitter I can save for another time. There's my magical forest. Stick the reindeer down with some PVA. You can see now why we only drew half a reindeer, because this gives the illusion that it's peering through the forest. And there is your magical winter wonderland scene. Made with string. I've been wrapping everything all day. I'm famished. Where did I put my lunch? Ah! Oh no! I've even wrapped the grapes! A customer! Hello, Makeaway Takeaway. Happy Christmas! Bet, I need your help. I have so many gifts to wrap up, I'm getting into a right pickle. Can you help? I have just the thing. One arty delivery coming right up. <laughs> Let's do this. My name is Kai 
Naira, and I'm nine years old. Me and my family love Christmas. I mean, we really love Christmas. Yes, Christmas! We love to decorate the house and wear our Christmas outfits. My sister loves her flashing reindeer jumper, while my brother has a festive jumper for every day in December. Christmas really is a big deal in our house. The problem is, I've been trying to wrap all the presents, but keep getting in a tangle with the sticky tape. Beck, can you help me save Christmas and get out of this sticky mess? Merry Christmas, Kyra! Merry Christmas, Beck. Now I have the perfect crafty solution for your festive frustrations. We're going to make a reindeer tape dispenser. That sounds great! First, take a big piece of cardboard and draw a holly leaf on it. This is going to be the base to attach our tape dispenser to the wall. The circle is where we can hang it up from. Right, time to cut it out and paint it green. While the holly leaf is drying, take a large plastic milk bottle and cut off the bottom. I'm squeezing it to make it a bit easier to cut. Watch your fingers, you might need an adult to help. Using double-sided tape or strong glue, stick the base of the milk bottle to the dried holly leaf. Next, you'll need two cardboard tubes. These will be used to hold the tape inside your dispenser. Take one of your tubes and cut it in half. And cut along the edges. Splay them out like so. These will be stuck on the inside of our plastic bottle. Again, best to use strong glue. Next, take your other roll and cut along the middle. Now I'm going to roll it up into itself so it can be held in place by the other two tubes. Pop the tape over and slot it in. I've stuck everything down and I've added a pink roll of tape, which is the perfect colour for a tongue. Next, take the other half of the bottle and stick on some eyes. I'm going to use some old ping pong balls. <laughs> I'm using double-sided tape. There's one eye and there's the other. Now I'm going to feed the tape through the end. Bloop, bloop. Place it on like this. Again there. Now we need to make some eyelids and ears for our reindeer. Now we're going to use some craft foam, which you can get from a craft shop or a supermarket. But you could also use brown card. So we're starting here by drawing the ears and then we'll move on to the eyelids. Kyra, you've done a fantastic job. I think you're ready to cut them out now. The bigger pieces will be the reindeer's ears and the smaller pieces will be its eyelids. What should we call this reindeer? Bet. Oh! Fantastic work, Kyra. I think it's time to stick them on. We've stuck them on. Now it's time for some antlers. We're going to use some tin foil. Kyra, could you make me some antlers, please? Yeah, sure. To make the antlers, scrunch up some tin foil into sausage shapes. One long sausage and a few little ones coming off it. They're looking great. OK, time to stick them on with some double-sided tape. <laughs> I'm going to use two different shades of brown and a white to colour the face. Now, Kyra, you're going to mix together a white and a dark yellow for the antlers. Oh, super stuff. We're using acrylic paint, but you can always mix poster paint and PVA. The PVA will help it stick to the plastic. Let's start painting. It's all dry. And as you can see, I've added some extra detail in the ear with some white paint. This milk bottle came with the perfect red lid that we can use as our nose. We're using double-sided tape to stick it on. Last of all, use a black marker to make the pupils for the eyes. And there you have it, your reindeer tape dispenser. Wow, that looks amazing. I love it. Thanks so much, Vet. Now wrapping presents is gonna be super easy. Happy holidays, Kyra. I hope it adds a dash of magic to your Christmas. Another happy customer. I couldn't get all my grapes open, so Santa's reindeer gave me one of their carrots. I know someone else who likes carrots. Here's some paper puppetry. Now, let's 
Let's see how it's done. Just checking Santa's naughty and nice list to see where I am. I'm on the naughty list. But I've been so helpful. I even did his laundry. Uh-oh. I've shrunk his hat. That must be why I'm on the naughty list. I know how to make it up to him. With a mega mini make. I'm going to make a Christmas tree elf. Take a cardboard tube and paint it festive red. It's a good idea to put down some old newspaper whenever you're painting. I'm painting the inside and outside. While that dries, we'll make an elf. I've cut out a body from a piece of green paper and I found an old photo of me. But you could also use an old photo of your friends, your family, or even a pet. Stick your elf together. And I've used pieces of cut out paper to make my costume as well. Time to make some springy legs. I'm taking two strips of paper, crossing them over at the ends, and then folding them over each other. So over, that way, over that way. Just keep doing it to get to the top. See, I've used a concertina effect. I'm going to add a shoe to give my leg a foot. Another one here. So we'll stick them on. A little blob of glue stick. One leg there, one leg there. It's dry. Let's add it to the tube. Because this is a decoration to put on the tree, I'll add some red wool so you can hang it up. A piece of tape on one side on the inside of the tube. And another on the other side. And there we have a Christmas tree elf. I'll go hang it up on the tree. Santa will love this. Oh, but his pants aren't meant to be there. Back on the nice list. Don't mind me, I'm just doing some stocking training. I have to be prepared to fill the tangliest of tights or stinkiest of socks. <laughs> Jolly Jingle Bells, a customer! It's the make of the day. Hi, Beck. I'm Amelia and I'm from Wales. Hi, Amelia. Thanks for calling Makeaway Takeaway. What can you make out of these three ingredients? Yogurt pots, green tissue paper, and some stickers. Ooh. Green tissue paper, very festive. OK, if you met Santa, what would you ask him? Can I have extra presents? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what you'd like. One make of the day coming right up. I'm going to make an advent tree using Amelia's ingredients. I've got a big piece of card that I cut out from a recycled box and I'm taking Amelia's first ingredient, the yoghurt pots. I've also added some of my own from my recycling. I'm going to make a triangle shape for my tree. Place them on. Ooh, this is looking good already. Excellent. Draw around the pots. This is so the cardboard's the right size. Every Christmas tree needs a star. Don't need these now. We'll come back to them later. I'm going to cut this out. When I flip it over, it should be nice and neat. I've cut out the tree. Let's get painting. I'll start 
with my lovely yellow star. Paint the trunk. And the rest of the tree green. Whoa. This is the fastest I've ever decorated a tree. I'm also going to paint the yogurt pots. I'll save this one to do as brown. The rest can all be green. I've mixed PVA in with the green paint so it sticks to the plastic. My pots are all painted and dried, including a brown one for the trunk. Done something clever there. I've added a little treat. I'll show you how. Take one of the empty yogurt pots, add PVA around the edge, pop in a treat, and add the tissue paper on top. And then cut around. Let's stick all our pots to the tree. I'm covering the tree in PVA. It's all right, because it dries clear. Put the pots on. Got these across the base. You don't have to add sweets inside. You could add gifts, jokes, or even poems. Oh, last one. Yeah! Wait for the glue to dry. It's dry! I'm going to add the final ingredient, the stickers. I've numbered them 1 to 24 because this is an advent tree and it's a countdown to Christmas. Place them randomly so you have to hunt for your treat. So let's see, put this one at the top. I'm making sure that every yogurt pot has its own sticker. Last one, 24. Almost there. Just needs a bit of decoration. I'm using pipe cleaners for tinsel. I'm just wrapping these round, but you can stick these on with strong glue. And there is your advent tree. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh, back on the naughty list. While I fix this and package it up for Amelia, here's some other ideas. How about a brilliant snowman? Or a festive stripy stocking? Something for everyone. Ho, ho, ho! Here you go, Amelia, an advent treat. <laughs> Wow, thanks, Beck. Another happy customer. That's the sleigh packed. My job as Santa's helper is done. Santa's left his treats. I'm sure he won't mind if I have a mince pie. Uh -uh. Back on the naughty list again. Worth it. Hmm. The banana phone. Hello, you've reached the Merry Makeaway hotline. Hi, Beck. It's Gracie. Can you deliver a Christmas surprise for our ice skating coach? Snow bother. I'll be right there. So, you guys want me to deliver an arty surprise for your ice skating coach? Yes, please. We're part of Solly Hill Fig Skating, and thanks to Steph, we can make great routines. It'd be great to surprise her with something special. Oh, it would. Yes. And something Christmassy. OK, you come up with a routine, and I'll think of something to sweep her off her feet. Something cool. Leave it with me. Let's do this.
Strong pushes, bend. Really good. Should add an extra bit of pizzazz to your Christmas show. Shall we get your coach? Yeah! yeah. Steph, we want to say thank you for everything you do for us and I wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you guys. <gasps> wow, that's amazing. Thank you all. Gang. Come with me, Steph. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. That was another brilliant day of delivering art to your door. Skate you next time on... Breakaway Takeaway!